If you need a new BMX seat for your bike, check out this Fiend BMX Mill Seat. This thing's super dope because it comes in Pivotal and it comes in some cool colors. Today, I'm gonna do an explain and review about this seat and tell you everything about the seat from how it's made, what colors it comes in, and if it's soft or not. So yeah, let's get to it. Uh, if you don't know who Lewis Mills are or is, uh, you're definitely definitely living under a rock. He's a new up and coming rider. Uh, definitely hit the pro circuit and he's just absolutely killing it. Has an awesome style, does amazing tricks, and he's got a signature line that's been coming out and uh, it's just been crushing it. So this seat is his signature seat and it kind of fits everything he's doing and it definitely helps him out uh, riding and stuff like that. Um, I'll tell you how it's made. What this seat is made out of is an, a leather top. Um, it's sewn together in three different pieces and how they sew it, let me pull this card off real quick. How they sew together is basically, uh, they take two pieces of material, they sew together here, they fold it and then those little flaps there, they sew those things together to keep the seat together. Uh, that style keeps the seat from tearing. If you do tear it on the side or anything like that, um, it doesn't run and rip the whole seat. Um, they've done it strategically uh, where they have a piece on the back. They also got one on the front uh, to keep it from ripping. If it does rip in the front, it's not gonna go up on the top and tear it up. This thing is a pretty soft leather, leather top. Uh, the cushion is a little bit firm, but, but as you ride it, it will break in. It will make it a little bit softer. So uh, expect it to break in and get a little bit softer. Another cool thing that I noticed is that it has a little hang tag right here. And this thing's red and white nylon uh, little tag on there. That thing looks super sick. It also has a custom Lewis Mills uh, rubber patch right here. And this rubber patch allows you to put a hex, hex head tool in there. Um, and then it'll go into this bolt right here. That bolt will go into a pivotal seat post. The seat posts have similar notches to these. And what it does is it allows you to adjust your seat up and down. And once you get in the position, you'll fully tighten it down and that'll lock it in to that position. Uh, what's super dope is that it's got some bumpers down here to keep the leather nice and tight underneath there and keep it from falling off the seat pan. It also has one up here and notice how it kind of has a little bit of ribs right here so that you can grab it and do some T-bogs or whatever you want to do. Uh, these seats are relatively light because it's got a lot of cutouts right here and it's just plastic. Having those cutouts uh, takes off a lot of weight, but it's actually pretty strong because it utilizes like an I-beam effect. Um, I don't know if you've seen buildings or anything like that. These steel I-beams, uh, mainly because it's lighter weight and it's way stronger. So using that style of functionality, it definitely makes the seat a lot stronger. And uh, yeah, overall, this seat looks really, really good. If you're into white seats, definitely pick these up. These are super hard to get. So you could go over to stackbmx.com and pick one up from us. Um, or you can come snag one of the black ones. The black ones are pretty dope. I think this is gonna be one of the better sellers just because black always sells really good. And it has red print right here and it just looks super, super dope. So go out there, support Lewis Mills, support Fiend and all the dudes uh, rocking their stuff. So peace out. We'll see you next time on our next explain and review.